given below is the timing diagram for a gated D-latch, and we are asked to complete the timing diagram for Q. Okay, now initially, gate is zero and D is zero. It doesn't really matter what the value of D when gate is zero, it's just going to continuously hold the value. Now here, things change. So here, gate is one and D is zero. When gate is one and D is zero, it's going to function in the reset state. Therefore, keep holding the value. Next, your D becomes one. When your gate is one and D is one, it works in the set state. Therefore, this value goes high. Next, D equals to zero. When D equals to zero and G equals to one, it's still going to be in the, it's going to be in the reset state. So make it go to zero. Again, D is, uh, D transitions to one. Now when gate is one and D is one, it works in the set state. So set it. Now here D equals to zero. So reset it again. Remember gate is still one. Now at this point, gate equals to zero and D equals to zero. So we keep holding the value. So that's the timing diagram for Q, for a gated D-latch.